So, both players going to be ready. Let's get in. It's map two. It's Kulak versus Avec. It's the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters European Championship. The best start we could have ever hoped for. Let's hope that it continues throughout all five maps here as Kulak gets the spawn over by Red Armour. Mega Health and Yellow Armour, of course, will go to Avec, but right now he has no weapons, which he will, uh, of course, rectify here with Rail, Rocket, and maybe even go down to LG, but he has to be careful that Cooler doesn't catch him out. Yep, so there we go. Nice uh, start for Avec there. Good full package of weapons. Cooler tried to, to catch out Avec moving around at the other side, and he totally gave up position for the next for the thread. Next for thread. Yeah. Avec didn't expect that as well. Avec isn't even moving in for it. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, neither is Cooler because I think he expects yeah. that Avex taken it. Yeah. And now they realize what happens. Like. Ah, I see what happened here then. Yeah, we but it's a really good boys. position for Avex now because now he knows, like, yeah, Rhett is definitely still up mm. and he can just put down some damage onto Cooler. I mean, even. I guess he's afraid to take another rail. Yeah, and there will be uh, Red Armor, of course, Mega Health, probably Yellow as well, going over to Cooler. Just say not that trap. I'm not sure if if Kulin knows though that Avec like Avec definitely knew like okay Rat was still up but I'm not sure if Kulin knew. He maybe could have guessed but yeah now he knows it's gonna be coming up. Yeah, it, I'm not sure if Kulin knew because the first thing he saw of Avic, it was coming from Red Armor side when he railed. Yeah, exactly. But it shouldn't matter now. He should have a timing on it because he saw Avec hanging around there so. It's about five seconds plus minus for, for Kula on the on the red. Here we go. Kula will bait Avec in. He'll rock it to rail uh, combo him. And he's going to drop down right on top of him. Could this be the first kill of map number two? Not just yet, but now as Kula comes up the jump pad, lands a rail and says thank you very much for that first frag. He will get over for yellow armor as well. So he's got complete control on the three items. And of course, uh, for Avec's point of view, the next good thing for him is that, that Mega and Red are at the same time, so he can just hang in that mid-map area and hope that he spots which one Cooler's going to go for. Uh, he knows now that he's over at Mega, and he will land another one, down to 10 HP, but more crucially, well, he's still alive for a split second. As Cooler comes in, it's 2-0 with 7.5 minutes to go. Yeah, that was a really disc, uh, risky situation, uh, this decision for Avec to actually be position in between. Like on other maps, for example, G7, you can safely do that. On this map, if you, especially if you position for Rhett, um, as we saw, like you still have to get out of that. It, it only takes two seconds to get from Mega to Rhett or to the Rhett room. Here we go, push in from Cooler once again. Great defensive rockets from Avec. And all of a sudden, Cooler's wondering, well, what happened to my stack then? And of course, he has lost out on this Mega. He's going to lose out on the Yellow. And Avec has got eight seconds to get over for the Red Armor and should pick up complete control of the map. He's flung in the air by the Rockets. Oh, but two brilliant rails from Avec. Constantly on the move there. And both of them, of course, pixel perfect to bring him right back into this game. Still, of course, fairly early stages, but it's looking like it's going to be another cracker. I can't believe how, how much confidence both of the players have in their aim. They're going for these incredibly hard shots. Hit Cooler's first kill, that kill, everything came down to just being perfectly comfortable with their aim. There we go. Havok has position on Cooler. And he has a rocket with Cooler's name on it. Will connect. There's another one out to the LG. He could probably finish this off with the rail. And he will back away. And yeah, Cooler was railable. Now slightly out of range of it, but it'll definitely cripple him before these next armors come into play. And yeah, Cooler can't go anywhere near that. Oh, and he's way too early for Mega as well. Above. Will Cooler stay? Yes, he will. He will jump over and collect. Avec losing a lot of HP in this fight, but Cooler decides to drop down. It was kind of a do or die. He had to hope that he could escape and maybe get onto that 50. Of course, didn't work out for him. And Avec will tie us up at 2-2. Two to two. We're 30 seconds away from half time. Here comes a super aggressive Cooler. And it, now it's Avec who's taking all that damage without really expecting it to happen. And Cooler should be able to uh, hold on quite tightly here, of course, after uh, picking up that last Mega. He has a good timing on it, and he is going to hold on for it again. That exchange really paid off for Cooler. Taking away the Mega, even though he died there, he did so much damage to Avec. Oh. 
Risky peak there from Cooler because now he can't afford to make the jump to Mega. He's probably going to do it anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Five Three, two, one, Cooler. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That Just was. in time. <laughs> now Vec, of course, was like, damn you, guy. Uh, although he probably won't even know that he had him that close. And, uh, but, you know, even with that, it was good for Avec because he still has Cooler in kind of a crippled position while he's, he's at 100-100. Now he knows position of him as well after that Rocket connected. Another good one from Avec. He can probably finish off the kill here with a good place. Rocket... Or a rail would even do it better. And there goes the rocket in. And Cooler, well, he got that red armor just as the rocket hit him, actually. Oh, and he's even connected with the rail. This is just an absolute world-class game right now. Back and forth with the control there. The game is so aggressive. None of them is backing down from the items. I was surprised Cooler actually stayed there for the red. Like, his attack seemed really, really weird in, in terms of uh, position on it and his stack. But it worked out again. Cooler, 188 armor, 100 health. Avec, 160 armor, 70 health. No, other way around. 160 health, 70 armor. But this Mega, maybe, possibly could be his. He's going to maybe lose out on it. If Cooler goes a bit cheeky, which he will, and Cooler makes the jump over. Oh, and he dodges that rail nicely. Avec, of course, does put one down, but Cooler is going to take this fight with the lightning gun. Surely he's going to take it. Oh, Avec tried desperately. He wasn't quite close enough to the ledge that he, uh, you know, thought he was. And, of course, just hit it. And then that gave Cooler the opportunity to finish off the frag and retake the lead here at 3-2 three to two with three minutes left on the clock, Calypso. And again, we have the situation that Rhett and Mega are up at the same time. So I would be surprised if Avec positioned the same. And Cooler is. That is a weird choice from Cooler. I guess he can still. Oh, aggressive move. Kill. Great play. Great play by Cooler. Absolutely brilliant there from Cooler. And that gives him a two frag lead, which. You know, in this game so far, it's probably not enough. There's another rail. Yellow this is off. probably the time where Avec wants to slow it down. He's so far behind the stack now. It was it was kind of equalish until now. But if he doesn't hit the perfect rocket now, he's going to be dead again. And those were two really great rockets. And another one to the face. Interesting choice there from Cooler to stay with the rocket launcher fighting uphill, hoping for the direct hit. <laughs> yeah, rather than his LG. They're so comfortable with that aim. Yeah. It's incredible. But still, he didn't lose the frag, so now he's on the back foot by a lot, though. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how fast the control changed again. This is so back and forth. There's a great rocket from Cooler. They're trying to uh, bait the rockets to be fired. Didn't work out for him. There was Cooler. Yellow armor next in play, up in five seconds. Two minutes to go, and now it's... It's Avec on the run. Oh, it's Cooler on the run, even. Yep, yeah, and Avec knows that probably next Mega is going to go for this one. And he's actually going to try and uh, figure out what Cooler's plan is. And he's going to sneak in, but Cooler wasn't even thinking about the sneaky stuff. He went straight in for Mega. Avec's going to take the fight. Rocket down as he escapes through the teleporter. What Cooler had done more than enough damage there with the LG to be happy with the outcome of that one. Of course, Avec does get that extra boost of the 100 armor, but he needs a bit more health if he's going to challenge for the next ones, which uh, are actually up at exactly the same time, ironically Again. enough. Which is probably why these, uh, why the control switching so often. Weirdly enough, it, it sent. Oh. Cooler's Cooler's dodging is just absolute world class again. Avec isn't very healthy right now. Needs to be careful. Cooler trying for another rail. Oh, what a rocket down! And uh, that's doing a lot of damage. Cooler will now drop in. He can take this fight. Got LG damage, but the defensive rockets again from Avec. Absolutely brutal onto Cooler. And he's so scared. Cool. Avec still hasn't taken the mega. He, ju he just took it. He was so scared of Kuda putting down damage on him. It's only 30 seconds oh, left. Oh, and he's jumped in. What a rocket jump from Avec. Right in the face of Kula, who himself had rocket jumped out of red armor. And that brings us back to a 4-3 scoreline. Avec, can he push through this teleporter? He's going to. 
He knows that Cooler has gone high there over towards the red armor area. There he was Cooler, and he's this. gonna go chasing. We've got four seconds, of course, on the clock. It hits the rail. Three seconds, one second, and there was the shotgun blast that didn't connect. Cooler hangs on. It's 4 3. And again, just a one frag difference in the map finish. But most importantly, it's 2 0 in map score to Cooler. He is just one round away from claiming his first ever Quake Live Championship.